welcome back to my channel and to day four of the autumn fashion edit. I tinted my eyebrows last night and I think I've done them a little bit dark, so you probably wouldn't have even noticed and I've drawn attention to it, so that's good. Today's haul is of course And Other Stories, one of my all time favorite, favorite brands. I just love their clothes so much. They are a little bit more expensive than like Zara and ASOS, but in my opinion, you do really see the difference in the quality and I just love them, especially in autumn, winter. They do the most gorgeous knits and jackets so i'm so excited to open this up i got an absolutely gigantic box from and other stories i think this is the biggest box i've ever got um and as always because i did this order like over a week ago i can't remember what's inside so it's going to be a lovely surprise for me too if you're new here today please do hit subscribe and don't forget that i will link everything i show in today's video down below in the description box and let's go so guys, first up we have this dress and I tried on my favorite piece first because as soon as I ordered this, I was so excited for it to come. I think it's so, so gorgeous. Like honestly, the way that it feels, like the actual knit is so, so lovely. It's like the perfect, perfect thickness. Um, it's so soft. It's just like a really cute, casual little polo dress. It's got little pockets and these gorgeous gold, like kind of, I think they're rose gold actually, rose gold buttons um, that just add this really like glam detail. I really like the color, this gorgeous, gorgeous off-white and the whole fit of it is so nice too. Like the length is perfect. You never really get the trouble of things being too short to end other stories, which I really appreciate. Yeah, the length is perfect and the way it fits, like it's fitted, but it's not like bodycon super skin tight. So I just feel like you feel really comfortable in this, but it's still flattering and gives you like a nice shape. I feel like this is the perfect early autumn transitional dress, like really good for this weather where it's still like, kind of warm but it's a little bit cold as well it's really really lovely and you know when something just feels good on your body like i could just so keep this on right now i would love to keep this on it kind of has a bit of that like sports luxe vibe which i think is quite cool like i can really imagine someone just wearing this with trainers but that wouldn't really be my thing i'd want to kind of glam it up a little bit but i just think it's a really nice thing to wear for every day that looks like polished and put together but it is still super casual um yeah i think this dress is a really really good choice. So next up guys, we have this little retro number. This top is actually from Mango. I did order a couple of bits from Mango just to put in with this video because there weren't like a lot of um, basic tops to go with the things. Um, so this top is from Mango, it's really nice. Um, I love the color and I love like the short sleeve turtleneck look. I just think it looks so 60s, I know, take another shot. And it goes so perfectly with the skirt, like the color is literally the color that's in the skirt. Um, and Under the Stories are really good at these skirts, like they do them every year in like a slightly different color or pattern. And this is just like a really nice kind of camel and beige plaid, which is just really classic. Like it honestly never goes out of style. And I just feel like the top and skirt combo is so 60s kind of going into 70s with the really neutral color palette I really really love it it kind of gives you like a little touch of a retro kind of vintage feel in your outfit but it's not like overdone it's still very much like wearable and still quite modern and to me this is just like the perfect everyday outfit for autumn winter um, you can switch to a long sleeve turtleneck when it gets a bit colder or even just like a nice knitted jumper I did actually pick out a cardigan from and other stories because they they are known for their amazing knitwear and cardigans are really really in and I just haven't really found like my vibe with cardies yet like I just haven't really got into them but I thought I could give this one a go because it's and other stories so it's bound to be nice I really like the color and the like rib knit as well to be fair it does look cute like it definitely goes um with the style like the colors and everything and it does look cute. I do like the kind of boxy, relaxed fit of it with these voluminous sleeves. I think it's really cool. I just don't really know if it's me. I think if we just add a little bag moment, like a bag always makes everything better. Like literally look, it looks so much better already. And actually I do think that this is a really nice look. Cardigans are in fashion. It's kind of like cute, it's relaxed, um, it's casual, but it is ultra stylish. I just love the color palette your over the knee boots like it is quite a chic look with just like a little relaxed cardigan over the top like you couldn't even be bothered so whilst i'm in this cute outfit because i really like it i'm going to try on a couple of jackets for you um with this look and the first one is this which is this really really gorgeous like 
beigey, pinky nude, kind of like a fuzzy jacket. Like it's so, so nice. I love And Other Stories jackets. I've had two um, that have just become like integral parts of my winter wardrobe. Like I literally wear them every single day in winter. They're so cozy, but they look stylish. They really keep the quality. Like, you know when you wear something every single day and it starts to get a little bit tatty, but these actually don't. And I am so tempted to keep this jacket, even though I don't really need it, but it's so lovely. Like, oh, I love the color. My other two are white um, and I just really, really like this color. It's so soft. I love it if we can have a little bit of like pink or pretty colors in autumn winter because I feel like they're quite hard to do without looking like you're not dressing for the right season. But this is so perfect because it's not like pastely pinky. It's kind of a bit beigey nude with a little touch of pink, which I think is perfect. And I just love the fit. I always find that the fit of And Other Stories clothes are just perfect. And I like this jacket so much. Like I'll kind of run you through my like go-to winter outfit, like when it's cold, it would be like a high neck, um, nice fuzzy jumper, probably from And Other Stories. I didn't actually really include any in this haul just because they tend to do the same jumpers every year and I've got them, I've showed them to you so many times before so I thought there wasn't really a need to um, do that again. But I would wear one of their like high neck cozy jumpers, some like kind of leggings, like my faux leather Topshop leggings from a couple of years ago, some knee high boots and this jacket, that's like my go-to outfit and I just really, really like this, guys. I know I'm going on, but I like the fuzzy fabric. It's cool, it's textured. Um, and it kind of, again, has a little bit of like a vintage retro feel. Like it could be quite plausible if you told someone that you'd pick this up in like a vintage store. I really like this jacket, guys. I'm finding it very, very tempting. But I have a feeling I'm going to like this other jacket just as much and I don't actually have anything like this. So I'm excited to try it on. So the next jacket is this and oh, I like this so much. This gives me so many vibes I can't even begin to explain. I feel like it's a little bit of a 1940s, 1950s sort of wartime era type of style. It's sort of slightly military with the way that it does up with the buttons and the color. Oh my God, it's so cozy. Oh, now this is so, so cool. I feel like this is so different. I love the like dramatic exaggerated high neck. This will actually keep you so warm and cozy. It's that really lovely kind of like felty wool fabric um, and such a glorious color. I mean, you could just wear this color with everything. And I love like this kind of oversized type of fit. It kind of reminds me of like a little cape. It's quite unusual. And I just feel like it looks so kind of statement and high fashion and chic. Like, it's just so cool. I think out of the two jackets, I would probably prefer the pink one just because I know for a fact I would get so much wear out of this one. Um, but this I do really like because I love the drama, I love the statement and it's very unusual as well. So next up, I've gone for this really cute, like knitted high neck shift dress, which I think is really nice. Again, I'm sorry I'm such a stuck record, but this also does have a very 60s vibe. I think I just gravitate towards um, pieces that have that kind of style and I just love it. Like it doesn't look overtly like 1960s, but it just has a little taste of it. You just feel kind of cute in this. Like I love the shape, the high neck, sleeveless way. It just kind of like hangs down and the fabric just feels so nice as well. It's not like a super soft knit. It actually feels more of like a properly structured kind of dress, which I think you need for this. Otherwise I think it would be too like clingy. Whereas this kind of has like a structure of its own, which is perfect. Exactly what you need for this kind of dress, I think. As always, I'll just add a little bag to complete the look. I love how much love the Mulberry bag is getting this week, by the way, guys. Have you noticed? This is, I think, one of my most like underrated bags. I don't use it enough, but I'm going to use it a lot more this autumn because the colour is just divine and it goes with everything. Anyway, that was a side note. It's literally the simplest outfit in the world. Just dress, handbag, of course, we're gonna do it over the knee boots. Again, I feel like this is a really nice transitional piece, like summer to autumn. It's kind of a bit warmer than a summer dress, but it's still sleeveless. Like it's still not particularly a warm dress. And then when it does get a little bit colder, you can totally wear a little long sleeved top underneath this. And in fact, I did get one to try it out. And other stories usually do really nice um, turtleneck tops. And I've got a couple, they're my favorite, but I couldn't find any on the website this time weirdly so i got this one from mango it's a really nice um kind of pinkish nudie color 
which I thought would look nice underneath this dress, so let's try it on. Okay, so this dress looks just as cute, if not actually even cuter, with a little long sleeve top underneath. It makes it look a little bit more like actually autumn, winter appropriate. And it's definitely cozy, like this is definitely a warm outfit. Um, I always think like, why would anyone want to wear anything but a high neck or a turtleneck in autumn, winter? Because they just look so chic and you just stay so cozy. Like honestly, what more could you want? Um, and I really like this whole look. I probably go with like my, grey over the knee boots with this look just to keep the colour palette nice and light because I feel like even my brown boots would just darken this a little bit too much and it's really nice to keep that colour palette looking light and it still looks appropriate for um, autumn winter because what I really hate is sometimes when you do light colours like white or pink or like pastel colours in autumn winter it just looks off. I genuinely don't think that this does. I think this works really really well it's definitely wearable and casual but it has a little fun retro vibe i also thought whilst we're here why not try out a little trench coat because i'm always telling you guys to get one for like your autumn winter basic wardrobe essentials but i don't actually show you very many um so i got this one from mango and the reason it appealed to me is because it has a detachable hood which I just can't even tell you how much sense that makes because I actually like flat out refuse to get my hair wet like I didn't spend 45 minutes to an hour styling it for the rain to ruin it so I will either not go out in the rain or if I have to go out in the rain I'll take an umbrella but who wants to take like a big umbrella that even when you put it down it's like a walking stick it's just really really inconvenient and I cannot tell you how amazing this would be. Okay, so we're just gonna do up our little trench coat. It's slightly oversized, which I think can look quite nice. It's very, um, it's very Audrey. It's very breakfast at Tiffany's, running out in the rain after cat. That scene always makes me cry, like every time. I can't even think about it, I get a bit choked up. So you've just got your cool trench coat on and it starts raining and you can just like totally hide your hair in this amazing hood. Like it literally does up all the way like this, like super old fashioned vintage vibes. Okay, I know it looks really silly, but are you telling me that in the pouring rain, you would not appreciate this so much to preserve your well-styled hair? Like this is literally amazing. And I feel like everyone loses their dignity in the rain anyway. They're like dripping wet from head to toe or like running for shelter. So you may as well lose your dignity, but at least stay dry. I mean, with a hood like that, I don't care what anyone says. To me, that looks super stylish. It's like witchy clan vibes. Um, but the beauty of this is, is when you don't want the hood anymore, you can actually take it off. There's a little zip. So you can just detach the hood like this. And obviously the coat now looks a little bit more chic, like without the hood. Um, so you can just leave this at home if you know it's definitely not going to rain. Or if there's a chance of rain, you can just shove this in your handbag. It's amazing. I honestly just wish all coats did this. And so guys, for the final outfit, I have this absolutely gorgeous combination of cozy delights. It took me quite a while to like fiddle around with this jumper and make it look okay tucked in so i've kind of got it loose at the back like this and then tucked in at the front and it takes a little bit of fiddling but i think it does look nice tucked in you can also just wear it like over the skirt but i do prefer just to give myself like that nice shape i had to include at least one lovely jumper from and other stories because in my opinion they are just superior at knitwear they are like the master of knitwear on the high street and this is so so gorgeous i'm obsessed with it i love the color the color for one is like a dream it's like this beautiful kind of cool icy pale pink and like i said sometimes i'm funny about pastel colors in autumn winter because i feel like they still need to look appropriate but i feel like this totally does it's kind of giving me like snowy vibes which is actually my favorite i know we're jumping ahead to winter a little bit but um when you buy a jumper you want to wear it as much as possible and i just love the fit of it it's so relaxed i feel like it has such a luxury expensive look with these like loose sleeves and the big kind of slightly exaggerated roll neck it's not too much but it's just so nice like i love this jumper they do it so perfectly every time and then i've just tucked it into this really gorgeous knitted skirt and i know i tried on a similar skirt to this from zara on monday but i have to say i do think this is nicer so i'm really sorry if anyone bought the zara one obviously i hadn't tried this on yet this just feels a little bit thicker more structured it's honestly such a nice skirt like it's so soft it's cozy this whole outfit is just the epitome of cozy 
Honestly, with my grey over the knee boots, I can't even. I'm gonna have to get them. I actually forgot I've got two pairs of grey boots. I've got these ones, which I bought from Macy's years ago and have worn them to absolute death. And I mean, they're still perfect. And then I've got these, which are my really expensive Stuart Weitzman ones that I got in the outlet in Palm Springs that are clearly incredible. I mean, look at the sole. The sole's a pale pink. I wore these one day out in London all day and I'm not joking, they were the most painful things I've ever worn. And I have other Stuart Weitzmans and they're super comfortable. There's just something about these. Oh my gosh, okay, grey over the knee boots, just the Sisley bag for good measure. That is such a perfect autumn winter outfit I actually can't deal. Like I'm so in love. This is why haul week is so bad guys. At the start of every haul week, I'm like, right, I'm not gonna keep anything from this week. I'm not gonna do it. I don't need it. And then I try this on an outfit like this and I'm like, how am I supposed to refuse? It's so, so nice and so warm and cozy. Like you get the best of both worlds with this. And then just in case you were wondering what it looked like untucked, I still think it looks nice. I think it kind of has a chic look about it. I prefer it tucked in. Um, but it doesn't look bad. So yes, definitely a 10 out of 10 on this outfit. I just really want to go out in this now. It's making me feel a little bit more cheered up for autumn. Haul week will do that to you guys, you're welcome. So guys, that brings us to the end of another haul. I really hope you liked it. As always, let me know what your favorite pieces were and if anything is in your basket down below in the description box. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.